you're a celebrity dog trainer, whose celebrity had the most unruly dog that you've ever worked with? Everybody have unruly dogs because what happens when they get them as puppies, they just think that because they, you know, they love, it's gonna be enough. So Oprah had unruly dogs, Natalie Portman unruly dogs, Charlize Theron, bless her heart, rescued a pit bull that was kicked so many times in his belly that they had to amputate his penis. I mean, talking about a dog, he was not unruly, he was scared. He was absolutely scared. It had to have been traumatizing. Were you able to break through to him? We absolutely broke through to him, and we taught him the word silly. So whenever he meet the unknown, instead of associated with fear, to associate it with being silly. Ryan Seacrest's dog had the same issues. You know, Lost a penis or just? <laughs> no, no, no. No, she didn't have a penis. She's a girl. But she was very scared. So it looked like she was unruly, you know, and the previous dog trainer before me told them, oh, the dog is dominant. I was like, the dog is scared. Come on, let's teach her the word courage. And when we did that, yeehaw, all of a sudden she's phenomenal, no issues whatsoever. Oftentimes, unruliness is just when the dog is not given proper coaching is how, how to meet their needs. When we give them proper coaching, it's kind of like with a toddler. When we teach them how to have manners, then they still get the needs met in a proper way. It's very simple. It's nothing to do with dominance and being leader and all of that nonsense. Who on the other side of that, who had, which celebrity had the smartest dog or the easiest dog? Smartest dog, easiest dog, celebrity. Ben Affleck had pretty incredibly easy dog. I mean, his German Shepherds were like, teach me, teach me, teach me, teach me. They were phenomenal. And Ben spent so much time with them. It was it was a piece of cake. It was just about, how, okay, what more can we teach them? It was so much fun. And are there any celebrities that uh, you've met with and you saw what they were teaching their dogs or what they were doing with their dogs and you were like, oh my God, no, stop that. I can't say name, but one big celebrity I had to quit because she kept giving her dog chocolates. And I was like, you're gonna kill your dog and you're giving them from the table and you are then coming to me that your dog is jumping on your table. I cannot help you until you're gonna stop ruining your dog. And when she looked at me and she said, whatever, I was like, sayonara. And she's a very, very big celebrity. Oh, no names, can't give me anything? First initial letter, nothing? No, 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 no. I can, but she's a big name. So I don't know what your stance is on fur, wearing fur, but Kim Kardashian was recently flowered on the red carpet. Do you think that she got what she deserved? Yes, I do think because it's not paint, she didn't suffer injury, and it was a statement, you know, you are causing a lot of pain to animals, how about will cause you some annoyance? Just that you will stop and you'll think if this is worth it. And I actually do think in a civil disobedience like that, without causing harm, without causing any permanent disruption. Yes, it was, I am actually supporting it, yes.